Hey guys, quick little update on the FTC 9. So, Matthew, the commenter, on my last video, commented, said he could take another mad, mad catch bar, made me a new one. Obviously, it's huge, and it should never snap or break like the last one did. Um, so, we should get the Thingiverse link for that soon from him. And it looks and it looks a little funny, but I don't think it's going to break, so longevity should be a lot better. Uh, another thing is my Shockwave blade broke, and here's my old one. You can see the seam in which the layer lines are printed on. It had snapped right there. When I dropped it, it snapped and cracked the whole tube. Uh, we printed it bottom to top this time, instead of horizontally, printed it vertically. And the layer lines are going left to right when it holds it this way. So you can see, should be a lot stronger, should be no delamination. Uh, another tip, if you're building one of these and you're making a shockwave blade brace for it, do not make the shockwave blade brace more than 13 inches from this spot right here. The middle of the trigger to the end of the brace where my knee is should not be 13, more than 13 inches. Mine's at 12 and a half. I advise you do the same because uh, if not it's SBR and it's probably a felony. I try to play within the, the rules and do everything by what rules there are and I advise you do the same. Uh, no, everyone says I have not shot this. Come on. I have shot it. There's a little bit of gunk down there. Uh, the reason it's so clean is because I clean my guns and I respect them. I appreciate them. A um, couple other things. Yes, there is a seam between my upper and my lower that you can see visible light through. See my fingers right there? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, that is fine. It doesn't have any problem with it. I, I'm sure this gun's made for the tolerances of 3D printing, which is a lot. A lot of, a lot of tolerances. And everything should be a lot better should last a lot longer should be a hell of a lot more reliable and should keep kicking for a while uh, so here's the uh, old mag catch bar you can see how small it is tiny 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 no wonder it broke I honestly I could probably break it just just by pushing on it you know um, also another reason why that mag catch broke is because the spring from MAF is really tight I actually cut down half a coil off of it, and now I can press it with a finger. Before, it's too tight for me to do that. And uh, lastly, another news: I am going to start building an SVT9. Uh, look up Gunny McGunsmith uh, and SVT9. You'll find them on Are We Cool Yet? So, I just need to get a VMAC upper and start printing it. And I guess that's it, guys. Um, I'll let you guys know if there's any more issues with the FGC9. Bye-bye.